Good Wednesday morning. It is 8.55, 32 degrees, a frosty start to the day. Tim? Definitely is. We have some clouds out there and some snow flurries out as well. As the temperatures start to get above freezing, we'll see a mix with those snow flurries with just some sprinkles. Nothing you'll have to shovel or deal with really past about midday or so. But we will get up to a daytime high in the mid-40s, overnight lows down in the mid-30s, and then a warm-up that takes us to 60 by the end of the weekend. Christy Breslin has a look at your Wednesday morning roads. Christy, good morning. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, everyone. Well, good news, bad news scenario. As you can see on the west side of the outer loop, we do have a disabled vehicle on the shoulder there at Frederick Road. That could slow you down a bit. The good news is on the top side of the beltway at Cromwell Bridge Road, that delay has completely cleared out. Average speed now at 60 miles per hour. Moving over to uh, other problems, we do have some debris on the outer loop of the beltway at 95. That's going to cost you some time. McElderly Street at North Linwood Street, and also watch for the crash, St. Paul Place at East Saratoga. Lynn, back over to you. Thanks, Christy. Governor Larry Hogan announces the new plan to roll out Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. If it is approved this week, distribution begins on Monday. Both the governor and lieutenant governor say they will get the vaccine in public to promote confidence in it. Brandon Scott is officially Baltimore City's mayor after being sworn in during a socially distanced ceremony yesterday. And this morning, he will hold a press conference about the city's response to the pandemic. Join us again for the news at noon.